Hey, it's Shannon with Dynamic Transit, and we're here for another episode of TA Topics. Got the holidays out of the way, it's the new year, and you know what a lot of people do at the new year? They start looking for a new job. So when you're calling those recruiters, that's what we're going to talk about today. The things to make sure you're asking those recruiters. The three givens are the pay, the lanes, and the home time. Pays a whole lot more than just the per mile rate. It's going to be our, their accessorials. Detention, stop pay. Don't forget to ask, do they have per diem? Do they do their per diem as a flat amount? Is it per mile? Make sure you're asking these things. Do they do vacation? How often are they doing their raises? Do they have holiday pay? Because this is a whole new one on me. I've never seen truck drivers get holiday pay until this last year, but it is a thing. Make sure you're asking so you know what to expect. Their lanes. You want to know where that carrier is going, but you also want to know, do they offer anything dedicated? Are they only OTR? Do they have drop and hook that's going to keep you moving a whole lot faster? Are they a forced dispatch? What are the consequences of that forced dispatch? Do they run west? Do they go through snowy states where you're required to carry chains? Do they carry chains? Do they require you to put those chains on? Again, these are things that you should be asking when you're calling a recruiter to talk to them about going to work for that carrier. Home time. Home time, everybody wants to know, how long am I going to get off? Well, okay, but it's a little bit more than that. Do I have to park the truck at the yard? Do I get to take my truck home? Can I build up my days off? If I stay out for eight weeks, can I take a full week off? Some carriers are yes and some carriers are no. But until you ask, you'll never know. Benefits. What do they offer? Is it a 401k? Do they match? When do those benefits start? What are those benefits going to cost you? Make sure that you're asking who the health insurance is through. Some people it matters to and some people it doesn't. So ask those questions so that you know if you're going to have to change from who you have now. The equipment. Equipment is a long subject line. There is what kind of trucks do they have? What kind of trailers do they have? What kind of motors are in those trucks? What kind of transmissions? Automatics, 10 speed manuals. What kind of trailers? Are they refrigerated? Do you run carriers? Do you run thermo kings? Are you curtain sides, Conestoga, RGN? The list goes on about the different kind of trailers that they're pulling and you need to make sure you know how to operate what they're pulling. So if you don't know, you can't really take the job. Just, you know, one of those things. But the next thing you want to know is, how do they do their maintenance? Do they have their own shop? Are you always going to have to go to a dealer or a mechanic and sit there and wait for them? What about if your truck needs a, a part and it's going to be 10 days? Do they have another truck to put you in so until your truck is done? Or are they just going to move you to another truck? Or, and I don't want to say this one, do you have to sit there and wait for that truck? But again, these are the questions when you're looking for a new job that you want to talk and ask so that you know what you're getting yourself into. Then you can go with, in regards to the equipment, what kind of amenities? Do they have APUs? Do they have a refrigerator? Um, there are carriers out there nowadays that are putting satellite TV, or not, well, TVs too, I've seen that one. I don't quite understand having time for satellite TV as a truck driver, but I'm old school, so okay. But satellite radios. I had a driver ask me the other day uh, about a CB. He thought it was crazy that we didn't put the CBs in them, but everybody wants a different kind, and there are a lot of drivers out there that don't want one, and I don't think that's a good idea, but that's, again, that old school personal opinion. We, do they allow TVs? You know, if they don't provide it, can you put a TV in your truck? Um, are there cameras on the truck? Um, are there driver-facing cameras? Um, you know, again, those things you want to know in regards to those driver facing cameras. Another one that we, uh, a lot of people are asking is, do, are the trucks equipped with Bendex? And um, those are some safety mitigating um, warning systems is going to be my best description because we don't have them at Dynamics, so I'm not going to tell you a whole lot that I don't know a whole lot about. Um, but part of that equipment also is the ELD. Um, ELD is ELD, but everybody uses a different one, you know, so do you have to learn a new ELD system for them? But the other question about their ELD that you want to know is, do they do a 7-3 split sleeper berth? Do they allow those? 
Um, what is their policy on uh, personal conveyance um, in regards to an ELD, especially if, you know, this is for an OTR position where you're only going home once a month, you know, those kinds of things. Make sure that you're asking those questions. One of the other questions that just cracks me up that I get first is, how long is your orientation? My answer is, is it's two days, but, and I understand wanting to get going, but if you're going to learn about the company and you're going to learn how to do things right so that they pay you, it just never sort of made sense to me. I want to be educated so that I do it right the first time. Again, that old school me person. But do they pay for orientation? Um, how do you get to orientation? What expenses are you responsible for while you're in orientation? Um, if it's more than one day and there's a hotel involved, who, again, Who's covering those expenses? Um, ask those questions when you're talking to the recruiters. Next would be incentives. What do they offer? Um, fuel bonuses, safety bonuses, uh, driver referrals. How long you've been with the company? You know, if, if there's awards for you know staying five years. Those kinds of things matter to people, um, and they are looking for those kinds of things. So make sure you're asking those questions. This is by no means a complete list, and nor would in, nor do all of these matter to every driver. But I do hear from a lot of drivers when I'm telling them these things, they're like, I never would have thought to ask that. That's good to know. So make sure you ask those questions. Make sure you get the answers. And if you don't have the answers, well, then maybe you need to ask another company. And... At Dynamic Transit, we work hard to make sure we answer all your questions. We want to wish all the drivers a happy new year. Please stay safe in these wintry times. Keep the dirty side down and the shiny side up. Happy New Year.